Hi there, my name is Andrew Reams. We are here at the Elevate Tours Elevator Museum and this is my story. How did I get started with elevator museum parts? I think the story goes back a lot more than just elevator parts. My name is Andrew Reams. I'm an adult with autism, uh, Asperger's syndrome to be exact. And one of the traits of Asperger's syndrome or high functioning autism is a fixation on things. And I'm sure you can tell by looking around this room what my fixation is. Anyway, ever since I was a little kid, I've loved elevators. I can remember my mother took me to the mall. We went to Famous Bar, I was like two or three years old. And she said, we're gonna ride the elevator and having never seen one before, I was a little scared. We get in, it closes up, opens up somewhere else. I was like, that's magic, I wanna do that again. And ever since then, I've been absolutely obsessed with elevators. And being into elevators, I've always wanted to collect elevator parts. So back in 1997 when I was in college, the Price Doyle Fine Arts Building elevators were getting modded. I skipped class to hang out with the elevator techs and they gave me the first elevator piece I ever got from 1971. Hence, this started my collection of elevator parts. How did I start this little museum? Basically, it kind of started itself. I just kept getting more and more elevator stuff. I mean, off eBay and talking to elevator techs. And I started posting about it online. And it got to the point where some of my YouTube fans wanted to come see my collection. So that's pretty much how the museum got started. And now the condition it's in now is thanks to a huge friend of mine, Jason, who is another elevator enthusiast in St. Louis. He comes out here a few times a year and with his technical knowledge, makes some of the stuff here actually do stuff. Since I love elevators, it just, I, I feel like, I mean, back when I first started collecting, I felt like having a piece of an elevator was something special. It was like I had a piece of the elevator at home with me. And now, pretty much for what I'm doing now, I don't need 300 different pieces like I have. But at this point, I'm more about preserving elevator history and giving my autistic fans basically a little playground to come in because a lot of the stuff here is interactive. What do I want people to take away when they come here? I want them to never look at an elevator the same way when they get on it. I want them to realize that the mundane elevator, a metal or wooden box that goes up and down, is so much more than just that. No two elevators are the same. You have state-of-the-art, cutting-edge, brand new elevators that work off AI, to old, turn-of-the-century elevators that work off relay logic. I want people to have an appreciation for the elevator. The main thing I want to communicate is just because you have autism or any other type of, I don't even like to use the word disability, any type of other difference doesn't mean you can't lead a happy and productive life. 